Less than a day after dropping Meet the Grahams, Kendrick Lamar is intensifying his feud with Drake, calling him a pedophile in a new diss track. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. The 17-time Grammy winner dropped a new song called Not Like Us. Kendrick uses the song to call Drake a pedophile before actually referring to him as such. Certified lover boy, certified pedophiles. Wah, wah, wah. First of all, the cover art depicts Drake's house covered in sex offender beacons. The inference is evident right away before KL goes into great detail about the man he is at odds with. Kendrick says he's heard that Drake tells those connected to the rapper to keep their small sisters hidden from him because the rapper likes his girlfriends while they're young. Another section sees Lamar continuing the conversation, calling Drake a colonizer in line with other rappers who have been openly criticizing Drake's level of black community ties. In case you're wondering if this song could be artificial intelligence, the likelihood is low because Kendrick released it on his own YouTube channel. Kendrick Lamar released Meet the Grahams yesterday night, and as we previously reported, he made similar accusations in that song, telling Lebron James and Steph Curry to keep their families away from Drake because he is a pervert. This is Kendrick's second diss track in two days. The whole music industry is currently focused on the intense rap dispute between Drake and Kendrick Lamar. All things considered, this has been building since Kendrick released his control rap back in 2013. After Kendrick released like that, it was evident that he was looking to get into a serious dispute. Drake then surprised everyone with push-ups and kept poking fun at us with tailor-made freestyle. After releasing a huge song on Tuesday called Euphoria, Kendrick appears to be winning Galbait by a narrow margin. At the conclusion of Kendrick's diss track, he makes fun of the slang associated with Toronto and the accent. There was one word used specifically, Crody. Don't speak on the family, Crody. You can get deep in the family, Crody. You'll hear this word a lot in Toronto, and Kendrick used it in a way that seemed a little insulting. It appears that Drake has responded to the usage of the term. View a screen grab of Adonis gazing in the mirror from his Instagram story. Drake captioned this image with the words mirror time, Crody after that. When Drake will respond to Kendrick is a matter for speculation. We are going to receive a rebuttal, that much is clear. DJ Academics has attested to this. It might arrive the following week, or it might arrive in a month. Fans should certainly lower their expectations because it seems that this specific conflict has a usual reaction time of three weeks. With the release of Kendrick Lamar's countertrack, Euphoria, the battle between him and Drake is officially going into its second round. Following the opening like that and Drizzy's rejoinders, push-ups and tailor-made freestyle, we are pretty much aware of the primary strategies that each MC is employing to counter their opponent. Regarding the OVO camp, one of the most noteworthy, novel, and explosive incidents involved his allegation that Whitney L. Ford, the wife of K-Dot, had cheated on him with one or more of his bodyguards. Although Kendrick stated that this was a phony attempt to ignite debate about euphoria, fans dug further into the Toronto rapper's back catalog and found additional lines that might imply this. Just pulled up to Whitney Houston, Texas for the evening. Drake sings a verse on DJ Khaled's 2020 collaboration pop star. Fans think if this also hinted at Whitney since it's set up similarly to his reference to her on push-ups I be with some bodyguards like Whitney. Nevertheless, given the preceding pop star remark, it's also plausible that the true significance of this line lies in Aubrey's decision to thoroughly examine the bodyguard. It's the 1992 movie starring Whitney Houston and Kevin Costner, which launched her popular Dolly Parton cover song I Will Always Love You. The boy addresses this person in the previous line of pop star, if we talking joints, it's just me and David Foster. Therefore, there's not really anything here that links this to Drake's mockery of Kendrick Lamar on push-ups, and just so you know, he'll probably do it again with whatever he's working on next. Let's put aside our tinfoil hats for a moment, though, perhaps he is hinting that the real threats to Kendrick and Whitney's relationship aren't Kevin Costner's the white women the Compton lyricist acknowledged to having an affair with years prior to this feud, but rather the bodyguards in their own orbit. Like in the hit em up beginning, the Six God might have even implied that he was with Whitney on Popstar. Just wait until you hear what comes next if you felt that was a reach. Drake got dissed today as Kendrick Lamar finally offered up his response to push-ups. Overall, Euphoria is taking the world by storm in a big way. People want to talk about it exclusively these days. Within the hip-hop community, all other stories have been shelved. Although some people think Kendrick's bars aren't hitting, others think this might be the best example of pure hate we have ever seen. Kendrick throws some heavy jabs against Drake throughout the song. Regardless of your position on the matter, there's no denying that things are starting to become interesting. Fans have been curious as to whether Drake has heard the song since it was released. Furthermore, some people are debating whether Drizzy will release the song anytime soon. It appears that Drizzy may have responded after all. It's evident from the tweet that Drake has been liking certain Instagram photos. That's it. Is the only caption in one of these posts. Naturally, this suggests that Drake wasn't particularly pleased with K-Dot. This one was unexpected by all. Industry insiders predicted that Drake would criticize Kendrick Lamar again, similar to how he did with Meek Mill in 2015. 
However, the hip hop community has never heard a diss track quite like Taylor made freestyle. Do we need ya? The West Coast savior. Drake only raps one of his three verses in his typical voice, the other two being filled with insults and overt jibes. If you deal with this viciously, you seem a little nervous about all the publicity. AI technology is used to alter the other two so they sound like the late, great Tupac and Snoop Dogg. The same Tupac who has long been Lamar's childhood hero. For this Canadian light skin dot, we need to know the baby West Coast victory, man. On April 19th, Drake released Taylor Made Freestyle on Instagram. Tupac receives the opening verse, and he doesn't waste any time turning Lamar's favorite rapper against him. The AI-generated voice, which features Drake's bars, observes Tupac advising Lamar on how to best take down a Frogs on the West, now's the time to really make a power move. It's an intriguing example of reverse psychology since it enables Drake to subvert the convenient talking points that Lamar was able to provide. The AI-generated voice of Snoop Dogg appears in the second verse. Right now, it's looking like you're writing out the game plan on how to lose. The voice urges Kendrick Lamar to record a response track as soon as possible, carrying on AI Tupac's furious tone. Another withering line from the Dogfather's doppelganger, World is watching this chess game, but oh, you out of moves. Ooh, what the fuck is taking so long, we waiting on you. Drake raps the third verse in his own voice, having previously turned Kendrick Lamar's own heroes against him. He makes fun of the Compton rapper nonstop for his tardiness and replying to the initial instigator of the conflict. Since your tone changed a little, you not as enthused, Drake asserts. How are you not in the booth? It feel like you kinda removed. At the song's outro, the Six God becomes even more contemptuous, saying that K-Dot needs another week to gather himself. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.